Good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's August the 8th, and we're looking at 1 Corinthians and chapter 16. Paul is drawing to the end of his letter. And he says in verse 9, he says, A great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. Paul is describing his future mission. He wants to go to Ephesus because he realizes that at Ephesus there is going to be a great opening. Sometimes in the work of God there comes an opening, a door appears as it were to open wide. And no doubt Paul has had news or has had some intelligence with regard to Ephesus and he sees a great opportunity. Ephesus was a big city right in the very heart of the area where Paul ministered. He knew that if he could get there and if the Lord would open a door to him there that he would have a blessed time and he would be able to be the ripples of his ministry would spread out far right across the then known world. And so he's very concerned about this. We know from history that Paul spent two years at Ephesus. And when Paul writes the letter to the Ephesians, there's no doctrinal error to be corrected. He's able to bring to them some of the new mysteries that God has revealed to him. But there's no error. And there's no false teaching. And there's no notorious sin in the church to be dealt with. Paul's ministry had been effective. It had reached into the hearts of the children of, it, of, 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 the, of the believers. And I was, I was going to say the children of Israel. There were many Jews that had come to know the Lord and the word had reached into their hearts and they had totally transformed their lives. And so that's my password for today. Sometimes um, sometimes great opportunities come. Sometimes the door, the, the door opens and the Lord says, here we are, we can work here, we can work here. Um, other times the door closes and Paul uh, writes to the Corinthians, he says, I'm sending Timothy to you, look after him. He's a younger man in the faith, probably 20 years younger than Paul, I guess, or more. He's a man that's timid. But he's a man that's greatly blessed and greatly schooled in the teachings of the Apostle Paul. He also says, I wanted to send Apollos to you, but Apollos had other things on his mind. Apollos didn't feel that it was the time to come at the moment. However, he will come in due course, and when he comes, he will be a great blessing to you. So then. A great door and effectual is opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Now, the fact that God opens a great door doesn't mean there won't be problems. The fact that God opens a great opportunity to serve him doesn't mean that there will not be huge obstacles to overcome, huge people to face, huge enemies to face, Paul says, Praise the Lord. That's part of the task. That's part of the work. That's par for the course. You see, you cannot have great, great blessing without great opposition. There's my thought for today and look forward to talking to you all again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now.